from Word Pictures mm. by Sally Love Saunders. <laughs> There is a place where time has stopped, where the gulls glide with the wind and myriad ripples of the water flicker like a flock of birds. A poet lived here and then died, leaving his inspiration. The tide comes in and out, leaving its treasure. We, too, came here for a while and left, leaving behind golden minutes. From 20 Years, 20 Poems, by Stephen P. Mack. Spanish guitar. I could fall in love with you if you were a Spanish guitar. A Spanish guitar, it is water and tangerine, but you are green. A Spanish guitar is warm on the air, spun from rubies and Moorish hair. Not pomegranates leaving stains or weeping like a violin and taking away the tambourines, shaking like some poisoned curve. But become a Spanish guitar, and I'll dance brightly with orange hands, tapping sprightly upon viscera dreams of Granada and the Alhambra. I would become a Spanish guitar, and lamentation I would tell to pour the bull into the dove and turn the fiery blood to tears. But I am made of bone and skins, and the roars of great white birds let me fall in love with you, become the thing you know you are, and I will be to you as the moor, and we will sing. My Spanish yeah. guitar. <laughs> and this brings me to On Poetry by Dan Brady. Poetry leaves no vacancy, no stone unturned, as it were, no space unexplored, no assumption untested, no theory is let to rest simply upon its laurels. Truth is not shy, so you may as well get over it right now and surrender to the inevitable. <laughs> let the loving experience of everything there is from the rich mantle of life coating this wondrous globe of ours, to the vast glittering mysteries set in the jet of its surround, come to you gently in your dreams, into your heartfelt soul. You see, in every breath you exhale, or child spoonful of soil, there is, in truth, something universal, something of God, and so, something of you. <clears throat> Likewise, cup your hands and take up seawater. In such a universe are endless dancers cavorting who, drunk on life, have found that this is all there is to need. They do not need intelligent reasons to revel. They do not need to know what sanity is. And of <coughs> course, love is ever on their mind. Although we cannot see those partiers, 
hear their music going on 24-7, 365. They are there and pumped up with ecstasy. There are then no empty spaces, no place where there is only darkness. There is no loneliness to those who clear of eye, sound of soul, and who so in love with love as to joyfully laugh even at death's extremities. And this, this takes us back to the very beginning. Poetry, my dear friends, leaves no vacancy, no heart untamed, no love withheld, and no tear to fall. Yeah. And um, I'd like to end with a <coughs> poem from the Century's Child by Johanna Wedgwood. <coughs> But we bookend feature for Johanna. This one is called Otherwise. <laughs> I woke up once on another earth, in another time, an uncertain birth, in another dimension, in another lifetime, in a different body with an opposing sign, another shade of red, a different hue of blue, a secret word for love in the mystery of you, in a faraway home with an unfamiliar crowd, from unique birthing gown to the eternal shroud. I wrote a poem in a different rhyme. It was slow in coming. <laughs> I took my time.